hello guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so today we'll talk about what are the best practices you should do while writing the playwright scripts so i am writing this uh, script since uh, long and uh, now i got pretty much confidence about it so i will uh, i went through my experience and the documentation that playwright provides and found out few things that you should not do or you should do so i will uh, give tips and tricks around that and uh, if you are new to this playwright script uh, you are writing this you should be watch this video till the end so you you get the confidence and you know like what mistakes you should not do so this will help your uh, playwright script to run uh, uh, <coughs> smoothly and also your code looks organized and uh, uh, few uh, locator mistakes you will not do so let's start so till now we have uh, write the scripts like this so first of all like uh, in your uh, organization or if you are writing professionally it should not look like this uh, it should follow proper uh, <coughs> framework so first of all playwright recommends us to use the page object model so if you see the, they have kept the document for page object models so your uh, <coughs> test should look like this so you can uh, copy paste this and uh, use same kind of model uh, in your professional test as well so if i explain this what you think you need to do is uh, you need to create one constructor and there you need to put all your uh, locators so wh what i did is i put a locator whenever i need it but if i keep like this and now uh, this title got changed right so i have used it thousands of places and i have to go to every place and i need to rechange it so instead of that if you have used like this you only need to change the title here and uh, you are using this get generated link everywhere so uh, it will automatically update that so only at one place you need to make the changes so this is the first thing also a page object model means your method should be at different places so you should have this uh, methods created and you can just call this method like get started click link also i suggest uh, whatever urls you are using uh, put this as a constant and put url there so wherever whenever you are calling go to method you don't need to change the url if uh, your uh, domain got changed or something got changed here in url so this is the things you should follow so with page object model uh, you can see like uh, first thing is uh, using uh, locators uh, where to put the locators and second thing is your methods also you should keep in mind like uh, if you are using the test right uh, here we have used like uh, this test so if you are creating multiple tests uh, make sure all tests are independent so whenever you are running in parallel so i have created like uh, three te two tests here so this two should be independent so that like whenever you are running it it should uh, uh, always uh, work like in parallel so what some people do is some people write one test here to login second test they write here to go to the card third test someone write is to ch payment checkout so if first fails then second and third will fail obviously also in parallel it will fail so should not do something like that so we have covered this page object model second is uh, locators so with locators you can uh, do multiple things first of all avoid static x paths so if you are uh, using the x paths make sure like it should not be static else like uh, some people what some people do is uh, just go here and go to elements and uh, if they want x path for login goes here and uh, copies whole hierarchy of this uh, uh, x path so if there was some options copy x path like previously i am not sure nowadays it is there uh, it has or not but uh, it was used to do do that so just uh, make sure your uh, x path is dynamic enough and you should use that one only avoid class names uh, so here like if you are saying like uh, it has this weird class name so avoid that so whenever you are creating locator right so here like get by text or get by title so text is mostly shown up on the ui so you can use that login is here it is there so log using that get by text login is better than using directly class so if you provide this class like uh, if we have used somewhere i think i must have used <laughs> so something like that using something like that or providing direct class instead of that use always use 
text or some some of the element that you are seeing on the UI. And if not, you can ask developer to put data test IDs just for your automation. So if you are professional, you can ask developer like put data test IDs for login. Uh, we should never be changed uh, whatever it happens right so your test will never fail so those kind of things you can keep in mind third is use locators instead of selectors so this is tricky like uh, you should do something like that uh, this i have done already so you go to locator and then click check or if you are clicking just uh, get the locator like page dot get x by id dot click don't use like this await uh, page dot click and then uh, passing the locator inside right so here don't like pass this open registration button so it won't uh, work so some sometimes it allows that like to pass that uh, uh, <coughs> locators inside the click but whenever it got failed it, it you won't get proper error message also if it uh, matches uh, multiple elements right so it won't be <coughs> uh, it will it will fail very loudly and it won't you it will break uh, it may break everything so don't do something like this always uh, have get locator first and try to perform actions on that so that is the best practice <coughs> other thing is use double quotes in locator in to find the elements so here we are seeing like i have added uh, two in also in double quote so wherever you can see use double quotes like uh, if you are creating this xpath also make sure class you are providing double quotes like this so what is the difference like if i pass a value like this <coughs> then also it will work sometimes but what is the difference is like this will match all the values with Two. so if there is a sentence which covers two in that so for example like input value equal to submit is there so if I put submit like this it will match only submit yes but if I don't put in double quote it will <coughs> matches all the submit like if uh, uh, some message is written like you submit your form here so it will match there also so it should not happen so make sure like you are uh, putting it in double quotes Uh, <coughs> now the assertions so assertions uh, most of people know like it's we should use the assertions also i have created separate video on assertions if you more more excited on that but uh, make sure like whenever you are using the assert like this expect i have used two times right so this is assertion it should not be overdue like you should not verify each and every step like click on login entered username enter password then click on login then verify that it got login or not like you should not verify like uh, you enter your text in the user name and it should enter or not in password you entered it is enter or not no need of that uh, doing all these things also <coughs> make sure like uh, whatever assertion you are doing uh, is uh, uh, finding something meaningful so uh, if your test is written to verify the login is successful or not then you should put expert there also you can use soft uh, soft assertions so soft assertions are tricky and very underused i must say it is not used properly so when to use uh, soft assertions so to use soft assertion you need to do the expert soft, soft and it will do soft assertions so here like if this thing is failed it will perform all the next uh, steps and then it will fail this so where it is useful so for example you need to print out 100 links in your page whatever links you have and you have to print out all the 100 links and if you use hard assertion and one of the link is not found it will not print others but if you are using soft assertion it will uh, print all the other 99s and uh, fail so you can know like which uh, link do not get found and uh, all others are working or not so if you use hard you only know like this is not working but you don't know about remaining uh, ones right so this is why you should use soft assertion wherever required so in username password thing also you can put soft assertion so that you can know like if something failed, you should know like okay it didn't enter the password that's why it got failed but it tried to perform all the login scenario so it just makes your like it clicked on submit so submit button is there something like that so this is a more assertion like use of await 
so if you are using typescript and javascript uh, these are synchronous uh, coding languages you should uh, use proper awaits if so what like if you are new to this most of the day, uh, people forgot to put await here or sometimes they put await inside but forgot to put outside or something like that so it should be properly used so if you forgot that uh, sometimes it passed sometimes it will fail and uh, you will get confused like why it, uh, it is not passing every time because of the synchronous thing so that is the you should keep in mind also like only run tests that are stable so that is uh, funny right so uh, it doesn't mean like do not run unstable ones otherwise you don't know like it is unstable one. but like in production where every day report is getting generated this should be for uh, stable ones only so if something got failed and one test has failed you uh, you it is serious you can check that like why it is failed and if some functionality is failing or not but if you put the unstable test with that every day it will fail and you are get used to it and you will not uh, notice like why it is getting failed sometimes you ignore also like it will be one of the unstable one so you can keep a suit for unstable one separate and uh, keep running and keep fixing and make it stable then only run in the production or wherever uh, everyday reports getting generated keep tests isolated to each other that we already talked uh, like in parallel if you have multiple tests uh, do not uh, put that uh, isolate it should not be dependent on each other keep playwright dependencies up to date so when you are using playwright make sure like all the dependencies are up to date what happens is browser version keeps on updating and if you are using old playwright so something will stop working so you should uh, be you should do not uh, get like why it is uh, it was working and now not working right so you first thing you should do is upgrade your playwright and if your browser is not upgraded upgrade your browser as well so here is a best practice doc most of the things we have covered so only thing uh, is remaining is like tools so we have already discussed this using vs code extension in debug video test generator also we have talked like how to generate uh, automation code automatically so using test generator is one of the advantages it uses correct locators so you can rely on that most of the times so it uses good locators only this trace viewer you should use ui mode already you know dash dash ui you can so whenever you are writing the code you, uh, you should use ui mode but whenever you are running code in the uh, suit right that time you should uh, use headless mode and typescript so i recommend like if you don't have any language dependency or you are fine with any of the languages you should go with the typescript uh, it provides uh, multiple uh, <coughs> options uh, with playwright so this is all uh, i heard for best practices so keep writing test and if you have any doubt feel free to put in the comments uh, please subscribe this channel and like this video and follow us on social media i share i used to share memes on that so you can catch good memes there so links are in the description thank you